Sam writes in, can you tell me if you know what happens in this situation? Let's say you have two or three exam sections passed at the end of 2016 and 2017 rolls around and the test changes. What happens to those tests I already passed in 2016 and what type of tests would I be taking in 2017? Well, whatever exams you pass in 2016, you have those credits until they fall off. So it's, it's, it's no different than, than whatever sections someone has passed in 2015, you still, you know, you have to pass a few sections in 2016 and you're done or whatever. Um, 2017 is going to be a little bit different exam. The simulations are going to have more weight. The simulations are going to look a little different. And at the end of the day, the pass rates will probably drop. They usually do. Um, pass rates, instead of being in the, you know, lower to mid 50s, they're going to be in the, you know, mid 40s. So they're going to drop off somewhat appreciably, but then they always go back up once people get used to the exam. So uh, just pass what you can and don't sweat it for 2017.